It's Laura from Doggy U. And today I'm going to show you the screens that I just had installed up in Canada yesterday that keep the bugs out and the dogs in. Let's check it out. So I drove up to Quebec this weekend to have these screens custom installed. I've been looking at them for a while. Far Out Ride has this great page on them and they looked awesome and way better than anything I could do. So I decided to save up for the cost and go ahead and do it because um, I'm going to have this fan for a long time and I wanted to make the investment. So let's check it out. So they're rolled up right now and all I'm going to do is unclip, unclip and the screen rolls down and then I just zip around zip down now I'm fully protected from mosquitoes and then I want to go through go through that and it just finds its own closure so every time it just finds its own closure it's so cool so we want to go in open go inside and the magnets are so strong they just find where they're supposed to be pretty freaking amazing. So I wasn't originally going to get both the back and the front just because of cost, but I'm really glad I did because I think this is going to be awesome for the dogs. Uh, it also has a little Velcro lock on it so that the dogs can't push it out. Now I don't have dogs that are going to try and bolt if I open the door because they're border trained on the edge of the van, but I want to show you the little lock so you can check it out. Okay, so here's the little lock on the inside of the van. So it's just a piece of Velcro. And all it does, it's Velcroed there, and I fold it over, and I Velcro it here, and now, if they push on it, it doesn't push open. Now, it's important also to train your dogs not to try and push it open or anything like that, but my dogs aren't like that, so I don't have to worry about it. So is it going to take keep a dog that wants to get you from busting through the screen? Absolutely not. But is it going to keep dogs that are trained and aren't going to try and do that in? Absolutely. Then you just Velcro it back here, usable again. Look at that. So cool. Magnets just find their way. Open it all the way and it just finds itself. It's amazing so you don't get bugs in here. So again the lock just velcros over and now pushing on it but you can't open it. Pretty cool. So now I'm going to show you real quick how to roll it back up. Super simple. Most important part here is you're unzipping it. You're not trying to roll up the magnets. So let's check it out. You're good to go. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you the back screen that covers the bed in the garage. This is the original reason I went to up to uh, Canada to get these screens because they are so cool and they work really well for my bed setup. So let's check it out. So when it's not in use and when it's driving, it's rolled up because we do have this shower here and it would catch on the shower if it was down all the time. So all we're gonna do is we're going to unroll so we clip, clip, comes all the way down, really nice. We zip it all the way around. Now it's in total panel mode, keeps the bugs out, can't, people can't see in. Then if I needed to get into the garage part, I can unzip that part. So I'll just unzip the bottom and what I can do is it's got this nice little bar so I can roll this up and now I can get my stuff in the garage, right? Then if I don't need to get into my garage, unclip it roll it back down then if I needed to get into the top part I can unzip that part separately so same deal this one also rolls up I like this mode because now people can't really see into my garage 
but I still have the opening, which is nice. Rolls back down, easy peasy. Then you're thinking, oh great, but I wanna be able to see out right now, it's totally blacked out, and I wanna be able to see what's going on. So we'll have to go inside so that I can show you the curtain and how to just get the bug screen. So here we are on the inside of the van so I can show you how to take the curtain down and reveal the bug screen so you can have lots of air coming through but no mosquitoes. So here we go. So we're just gonna unzip the whole thing. You wanna kinda hold it in the corners and voila. Now you've got total air screen, but you've got no bugs coming in. I also want to point out a neat feature, um, which is each of these straps to hold things up has a little Velcro so that it stays in place and isn't just hanging down, which is kind of cool. So there, if it gets a little chilly at night, what you can do is just partially zip it up. Now you can have a little bit of airflow but also be protected from mosquitoes. I do also want to talk a little bit about the installation. So these were custom installs um, up in Canada. And you can see that they're actually Velcroed to um, the outside of my van. And then they're also screwed in to the inside of my van. Really, really quality construction so you know it's not going to pull out while in use. So I also want to show you how this provides a barrier for the dog so they're not going to try to jump out of the van if I open the door. It gives them, you know, a place to stay where they're nice and cool. And then I can ask them to wait, open the door, free, and release them. Good job. So now you've seen how these screens work in person so you can probably decide if they're worth the money for you. I definitely think they're worth the investment and I'm excited to use them all summer. I love that they keep my dogs in and keep them safe and they're gonna keep the bugs out, which means that my husband might actually want to go camping with me this summer because he hates the bugs. So he'll have a little place to hide in the van, which will be awesome. I love the magnet closures. I love on the garage part in the back where I can open half and not the other half. I just love the whole design, which is why I spent the money on it and I thought that it was a worthwhile purchase. So if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. I'll also link um, to the website where I got these screens on there as well. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Thanks for watching. Happy camping.